I'm Nikki. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for meeting with me in the back. You're welcome. How are you doing? I feel great. Are you a little thank you? <laughs> you you're, you're touring a little bit here. I'm, I'm touring uh, a lot. A lot, extensively. Uh huh, listen to my voice. That's it's pretty buck. Buck. It's getting buck wild. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you enjoy touring? I love touring. What, it's, it's what do you love about it? I Tell like, me about how much I love playing doing. shows. If I could play a show every day in one city, I'd probably do that. Oh. But since I can't and I have to play it in different places in order for people to be there, then I'll go on tour. What's your favorite U.S. city? Um, I can't give you one. I can give you like ten. Give me like three. Three? Top three. Top three? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I can't count my hometown Minneapolis. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Minneapolis, Portland. Ooh, Portland's a good look. Portland's amazing. And then uh, maybe San Francisco. What about Seattle, Washington? I like Seattle, but you made me only do three. How about top five? All right, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> you better Austin. Say right with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So of these places, which do you think has the best food? The best food? Yeah, best food. <laughs> Random question, P.O. Just give me something. I'm I, like, I like sushi. So Seattle and Portland and... Uh, not sushi, I like LA, they got lots of good Mexican food. I don't know, I like food. Cool. Everywhere I go, I can find good stuff. Portland's, Portland's got the sushi, Seattle's got sushi. Pittsburgh's got Pomanti Brothers. They got amazing sandwiches. Ooh. It's good. Let's know. Let's talk about your music for a little bit. Sure. So you make some pretty awesome music and it's all, you know, unique, different sounding. And you know like how musicians they can make stuff that sounds a lot like placid and the same, but yours is different. So I want to talk about your process a little bit. Okay. So how do you create, what's your composition process? Like do you do beats first, hooks, lyrics? It, it really depends on the song. I make a lot of beats and then I don't make beats for a while. And I write a lot of rhymes and don't write rhymes for a while. And then when it's time to make a record, I just kind of mash them all together to see if it fits. Yeah? yeah? Would you consider yourself more a master lyricist or a producer? Master lyricist? Yeah! <laughs> I'm not a ma- I've got, I've got a few years before I reach master lyricism, but uh, I'm, I can write and I make beats. I feel like I'm probably, I think I'm stronger when I do both. How's that? I like that answer. It's okay. a good answer. So, um, as far as, you know, in the lyrics, you seem to have an underlying or a message in all your different songs, but would you say that you have an underlying message through most um, of your stuff? It depends on the record. Uh, Epic Acne was about flailing and being young and being overly, uh, overly engaged with your emotions, not in like an emo rec record way, but in like a not really know how to, knowing how to contain yourself in any way. And Audition was about writing all that in, and then Never Better was about mixing those two feelings and putting it out in the most aggressive but also least polished way possible. Mm -hmm. um, just talking about a bunch of your different albums, how do you think you're how do you think you've progressed or grown since you did Ipecacne? I mean, I did Ipecacne when I was 18, 19. I'm now 28. So I think I'm just I'm older. You, that, that is <laughs> definitive. When, when, you're, when you're older, you, uh, I mean, for me anyway, I've been writing the whole time, so I guess I've just grown up as an artist. Um, I don't know. I, I, well, I, I mean, it's <laughs> like you, you kind of have a pathway through your own music, of yeah. like kind of like seeing your past. And so, like, what would you say your synapses would be since you started out? I don't ever think about it. Okay. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know, I've gotten, my process for making beats has gotten cleaner because I've been doing it for longer. Uh, I know where my limits are for rapping, so I like to try to push past them. Hmm. That's it. Cool. What are some things that you're vibing right now in the hip hop scene? What am I listening to? Yeah. Old Aesop Rock, new Aesop Rock, old Dr. Dre, uh, new Jay-Z. Uh, That's cool. Mm -hmm. You feel that Rihanna? <laughs> I like Rihanna fine. She's alright. Well, I don't do Jay Z. Oh, oh, cause she's on that. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, she's on that one song. Yeah. <laughs> I 
whatever. <laughs> it's a pretty good song. I'm just talking. I typically don't listen to like R and B though, so if if Rihanna's on somebody else's song, I'll, I'll listen to it really loud. But I don't, know, I don't own any Rihanna records just because I don't care to listen to people singing mostly. Um, would you say that you're trying to accomplish anything with being an, a hip hop artist or with your music? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to accomplish making the best records I could possibly make, and I'm trying to accomplish my dreams of never getting a real job, and I'm trying to accomplish my dreams of making rad fucking songs every day here. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll definitely stay tuned for that. Um, anything we should be looking out for from POS? Um, yeah, a new POS record at the end of the year. Building Butter Bombs, Marijuana Death Squads, uh, Doom Tree Crew Record Part 2 coming soon. Um, yeah, I guess just check out more POS. All right. <laughs> we'll be staying tuned. So thank you so much again for meeting with Scandal Show Gal. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> That'll be very loud and distorted. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, it was fun.